Like watch, when this when we go into the match, look at the top left corner, you'll see Nintendo Switch E3 or whatever. It's, it's so that ridiculous. Real? Yeah, look, watch. <laughs> That's so <laughs> funny. They never named the song. That's so it, funny. Okay, but we're on Gruta Valley, but this time we got Arrow versus uh, Idris. Idris rocking the Lucas. Uh, and Lucas is such an interesting character in this game. A lot of people, all oh, Lucas players specifically, have told me like, "Hey, they don't really like the changes. They, you know, he, he, he isn't so much um, like a pillar combo kind of a character anymore. He doesn't have footstools combos yeah. anymore, which he really relied on in time for." So uh, let's see what Idris brings to the table. Let's see what innovation he can present we, to us. I mean, with we've seen character. a lot of successes with Lucas and SoCal in particular. I mean, J Slayer uh, has beaten Zenyu, beat Master Mario. You know, so Lucas is out here, man. Okay. All right. This is this is always kind of the the challenge with whenever you're playing a spacey, whether or a, 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 a side kid, either Lucas or Ness, is range can be an issue. Like, and, and if Arrow is able to just kind of keep Idris walled out and to keep up that projectile wall, uh, it's going to do a lot of really good things for him. Yeah. Idris, of course, he's going to have to try to find Whoa! a way to break into that lane there. Not able to convert it. That's cute. Really yeah, that was really cute. He went, he went down for that one, dude. Another up B is going to seal out that first stock, though. And Arrow's trying to do some, some wave land stuff. Right. I don't know how... Uh... Oh, did he jump? Oh, okay. yeah, he has jump. He has jump. Another thing, like, that's the arrow thing. He'll never do like a panic option. He'll never do like an unnecessary jump. Uh, that's the kind of thing with that. But yeah, did he just go the wrong way there? <laughs> he did jab jab on his shield and he just drop shield and F smash the other direction. <laughs> He's going for the crazy roll read. Arrow's moving, what? Yeah, that's the thing, like, usually these heavy characters and they have that frame three jump squat, you know what I mean? Like, they can get off the ground in just three frames. So, like, even though they're kind of sluggish and, and heavy characters, they still, they got some movement. Yeah, his game. platform pressure has been pretty incredible. Okay, but Idris, oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the SD. <laughs> oh, the oh. That was a, a user malfunction with the yeah, remote bomb. That was definitely a... Uh... That was a game over in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> What's the sound? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty even stuff though, man. Idris lost that first stock pretty early, but he's been able to kind of uh, get himself into this game. Of course, Arrow's SD helping him there, but he'll take it. Okay. Okay, no jump. Dude, Arrow's platform pressure is really cool. Like, wow, what a call out. I haven't seen anyone utilize wave landing like the, the that like perfect wave land kind of angle. Yeah, at all today until Era. Yeah, showing us some new technology. Okay. Good wait from Idris. Saw the arrow was headed low and he responded with a, uh, a jump. Just get me out of that situation entirely, please. Yeah. Another thing about uh, Link's up B in this game: if you reverse it next to the ledge, he's dead. Oh. He killed himself again, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> I, I'm like 90% sure that was not PK Thunder that did that. Idris doing a really good job to avoid that 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 quick upbeat. Uh, the stat from uh, from Adult Link is so threatening. Wow, playing with the bomb too. He's got tricks. Wow. That's true. I think that looks true. Okay. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 57.2. Gotta, gotta put that point two. In you gotta put the point two in there. Uh, you know, that's it's not insurmountable, but Idris yeah. just got so much momentum. Yeah, Idris is looking real good. He's real good. Uh, that fatal mistake is he's he's not spacing on that shield too well in kill percent. That's why he ended up getting uh, get hit by the upbeat from Link. He's got to be careful about that up upbeat of shield going into stock number three. Because we got one stock apiece here slap. This is scary. Arrow able to drift. Idris has kind of been going for a lot of roll read down smashes on the ledge trap. Okay, late there. Okay. Arrow, kind of getting some stuff started. He's at 130, but the thing about Link is he's got the kill power. He can make this comeback, theoretically. He just has got to stay careful. This is his game to lose. Okay, couple backers back unsafe. Throw. Okay, now that he's got him at the ledge, he's got to like make this count. Yeah, oh, no jump. That Nothing. was super close. Yeah, good, good, good angle from Idris. This is pretty close, man. Idris and Arrow definitely push himself to the limit. One stock a piece of that forward air is not going to be the one. Good DI from Idris. One more of them will do it, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
A whisper. Forward tilt. A forward tilt. Arrow gonna take it 1-0. That big over swing, Evies. dude. That big old swing. That that was uh, he cocked back for that one then, for sure. But uh, Arrow able to cut, punch it out. Yeah, that was close. Had a big lead there, but Arrow just seemed to chip away slowly, made it happen, and was able to take that game one. Is it safe to say that every one of Arrow's stocks were kind of taken by Arrow though? <laughs> it certainly felt that way. Like um, he, it didn't, we didn't see Idris really close anything out. We saw him put on a lot of damage. Yeah, I agree. For the second death, I believe Arrow, he wanted to drift with his, uh, you know, post Z dropping the remote bomb, but actually Idris PK Thunder intercepted his drift, and so he didn't have the right angle. So Idris is doing a little bit of interrupting, but I agree he has yet to display a real sense of uh, closing stuff out. But we're back on Pokemon Stadium two. Uh, Idris versus Arrow. Let's see, man. Yeah, I like this kind of big action from Idris. I think Idris benefits from the space really, really well. Like, Arrow, Arrow definitely has the the better projectiles for zoning, right? For sure. But the thing is, is that when there's less landing options for Link, it allows Idris to kind of get nicer combos, like, you know, Nair, PK Fire, or something like that. There's no platforms to run to. If he double jumps away from the Nair PK Fire, then, you know, it's... Oh, oh go so low for that, Arrow! Goodness. Man, so low, call him hot. <laughs> Idris. <laughs> Taking this first, you know, losing his first stock there. Arrow, I love to see that, man. Like, that's the thing about uh, Lucas. Uh, you know, he has that tether recovery, sure. But when he isn't in a position to do so, when he doesn't have that double jump, go out and swing at him. You know, he yeah. has to. What else does he have? And Arrow uh, doing a great job of exemplifying that principle. Yo, the football kick, though? The, See the punt, the forward throw. Oh, it goes down there again. Oh. Wow. Oh. Arrow threatens there with the the, the scoip off the drop zone there. This I'll smash out of nowhere. Yeah, this is a totally different game than uh. Oh, game one. It's a very different arrow. Yeah, arrow definitely. I don't know, it's like an RPG, he like leveled up after the first battle. Well, so far he's like just made very few Ooh, mistakes. Ooh, down to them. What? That's so cool. He's, he's just made so few mistakes this game. You know what I mean? For his last game, I feel like he, he messed up quite a bit, but that's a good idea. I love his, how he's challenging with the Nairs. Oh, Beaver vs. Arrow! Arrow! That was nuts! What a snipe! Oh, Arrow. <laughs> I think it's all the injury. Arrow with the Beaver vs. Arrow to close out. That's not, that's not okay, dude. That was not, that's not okay. That was, th there is etiquette to 